Hello, British nerds and nerdettes. And oh my god, is that a game footage you see? Yes, indeedy. And for a good while, uh, I'm way outdated on time. Yeah, let's cut the bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna do another um, audio vlog slash um, video game footage sort of thing um, with Super Smash Brothers, one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Right, so let's cut the bull crap, but let's get down to business. Um, what have I been doing for the past um, time? Um, not much. Um, there's a few bits and bones, but what I'm going to do is talk about what I've done today and what's going to happen in the next year since we're getting in towards the end of um, 2015. Uh, since it's the 1st of December, um, we are heading towards Christmas time. Yay. But, um, you never know, this could be a very interesting Christmas indeed, especially for me, which I'll explain in a few seconds. Or minutes, sorry. Um, apart from my crappy English. <clears throat> anyway, um, what I have been done for the past time is made a lot of overtime recently um, to keep up the finances a bit and um, get some extra cash. Um, particularly this week, I'm doing a lot of extra overtime. As this morning, I had to go in like six in the morning, um, and I finished about ooh, about midday. Um, but in the past few weeks, I'm going to do like a ten hours, eight, wait, eight, eight to ten hour shifts, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But um, in the end of the day, I need some extra money. So what can I, what can I do? If there's some overtime, I'll take it. Um, hopefully not too much over time because recently uh, there's been some circumstances with one particular colleague uh, basically may not turn up at all this week which results me me being asked to maybe cover a couple of your hours extra which is annoying but again if they say if you want some extra hours you know for some extra money it's right there if you want it so um, we'll see what happens <coughs> anyway yeah um, what well, about some gaming news? How's that to cheer us up a little bit? Now, if you look at my Instagram page, which I'll probably show you a picture of it in a minute. Uh, in fact, um, I'll put it on in the corner. There you go. Um, I have found a copy of Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. Yep, the one and only. Um, the one game that every PlayStation owner wants to get their hands on. Um, there was a few problems when I found it. Um, just to clarify, I found this in a cherry shop um, near um, near where I live, about five minutes from where I live. And um, I didn't believe at first that it was right there, right in front of my face, like it was glaring out from the skies from heaven. Just came down my shelf and basically let me want to take and grab it and take it home into my video game collection. And then when I opened the case, now, just to clarify, I didn't know what to expect as soon as I opened the case. Now it has the demo disc for Silent Hill. Good. Case, mm, couple of cracks but not too bad condition so I'm not there. Manual, uh, but like I said manual, good nick. Um, <clears throat> okay, now. There's one thing missing from that set, which is very important, which is, um, there's a the disc for the second part of the game, but the foot disc for the first part of the game is missing. Yeah, and instead they have this Demo 1 disc in very, instead. Oh dear, that's a bit of a dooiki, ain't it? So, I mean, for two quid, I might as well just get it anyway and go on eBay and find the this first disc online, just get that in to replace it, and then there you go. I have um, Metal Gear Solid Black Label Edition, not the Platinum, Black Labeled. For about two quid. Probably a bit more if I had to spend it on the disc, but even still, for two quid, that's a heck of a deal. Wow, I cannot believe that's happened to me in that one particular day just before Christmas. Um, yeah, so. In fact, if you look at my Instagram page or whatever, or just um, check my... If I check my Instagram page in general and see whatever things I've got for this year, because at this point, I'm stopped buying video games for this point. Also because I need to get some stuff for Christmas, uh, Christmas presents, and... Uh, and the thing I'm trying to save up for, which is 
um, we're gonna about to talk about now is the fact that I will get. Please don't stop me. We'll finally get an Xbox One. Because I, why? Because I don't have that on the PS4 yet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's been over two years. I should have got one earlier, but again, financial reasons, I couldn't get both, one or the other, or both. But now, since now, I'm trying to save up one as much as possible, and the prices have gone down quite significantly. Um, now I can get my hands on one, and I see I can get my hands on Battlefront, uh, Black Ops, uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, which I'm very interested in, or whatever games are out there. Um, you know. You know, and just catch up with everybody and have a go at Xbox Live and hopefully meet you guys later on. And some of my guys out from work as well, hopefully they can catch them up as well and do some awesome stuff. Right, um, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, that's all I can say really. I know it's going to be like a boring sort of video, but obviously Smash Brothers, well me playing Smash Brothers will, you know, uh, make that up. And, uh, yeah. Oh, just to clarify, I'm trying as best as I can to make more videos, but again, it's just the time I have and, you know, um, some bits of bobs and, you know, life in general. And it's a little bit more difficult, but hopefully, by next year, hopefully, I could probably make this as a news resolution. No, 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 I don't know, because I will just break it as soon as after the first day. Um, I'll probably make as m more video content as possible. Uh, especially for next year, because of, uh, if you heard about next year, there was three special anniversaries uh, for three very famous gaming titles. Um, as of, I'll do this in order from months. From February, there's the 30th anniversary for Legend of Zelda, my personal favorite video game franchise of all time, as some of you may be aware of from my other social media. Then in June is the my second favorite um, video game franchise ever, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm um, just to clarify, I'm never fond of the you know latest Sonic games like Sonic Boom. God, oh god, that thing is just so sick. It just makes you just want to kill yourself. It, it, it's that bad. Um, I'm talking about the classic Sonic games like the Sonic 1, 2, 3 on the Mega Drive uh, and uh, oh, Sonic Generations or Sonic Colors, you know, the, the good ones basically, the good Sonic games. Um, but the, it would be officially 25 years old, the franchise would be 25 years old from June. And on August, shortly afterwards, it's Metroid's turn to have their anniversary. 30 years to be precise. It's crazy to think that these three franchises are going to have the same anniversary on the one year. Unbelievable. And I'll definitely celebrate those in my YouTube channel for definite. So, especially Legend of Zelda. It is my, like I said, it's my favorite video game franchise of all time. I love Legend of Zelda. It's my favorite game. And top game of my, and my top game on the list, Ocarina of Time. Love that to eternity. <sighs> Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what's going to happen for the past um, year or so. Hopefully we'll do even more interesting stuff than this, to be honest with you, but you never know. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like this video, so you, uh, you can press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you um, like to see more gaming content. And uh, feel free to leave some comments um, as well. And hopefully, um, I'll see you guys shortly, um, if I survive all my overtime at work. Uh, meantime, um, stay cool and uh, keep on gaming. <laughs>